sure they don't talk beforehand, but the contrasting blues on those hats are very special. Yeah, I, I think absolutely, if we look at all of the carriages, there's a sort of, you know, a love of the pastel shades, very summery, really, really elegant. And then we've got some bold navy blue and white, which is so brilliant for Royal Ascot. And a lovely pink hat from yes. Princess Eugenie as well. Yes. Again, the pastel. And I understand that's another Philip Tracy. Well, they turn off the course and now they will go under the arch these two Windsor Greys they'll probably be wanting the suntan lotion by the end of the week <laughs> a really lovely sight as they now went their way to another huge crowd waiting for them around the paddock and the winner's enclosure the numbers boards either side as they go under the arch one has a list of winners of the gold cup the other has a list of winners of the king george and if you look at the one of the gold cup the name queen elizabeth written in lights alongside estimate brings back so many memories but the memories for everybody here today are of sunshine and now the footman will lead and uh, the outriders will turn right to give everybody a, an even better view one or two people i'm sure are even looking over the wall from the main road ascot high street to look at this they're getting a great reception and there really is nothing quite like this is there it's so significant, this arrival, isn't it? Every day, especially from a fashion perspective, you know, we are just really, really excited to see what each carriage are wearing. Um, Have, has anything caught your eye amongst well, the public in terms of, you know, there, 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 were, there seems to me to be quite a lot of blues. Is it just the way it's, it's turned out? <laughs> I think that's just good luck. Uh, very fortuitous. Uh, what we have seen actually today is a lot of white uh, and a lot of pastel. Um, you know, perfect for this weather. I can see that we've got a wonderful um, brooch on Her Majesty the Queen here, which I understand is the late Queen's turquoise and diamond brooch, which is really, really spectacular. And as the carriage pulls up, great to see the Prince of Wales and we send all our love for the continued recovery to health. Indeed of the uh, Princess of Wales, who's been a, a much enjoyed participant and uh, over the years and hopefully next year she will be back. But uh, you can just see how much it means to the Queen. She just enjoys every minute of it. She's got the Countess of Halifax mm -hmm. by her side and now the horses come to a, a stop the Windsor Greys and the footmen open the land doors to let the guests disembark Sir Francis Brooke who is Her Majesty's, His Majesty's representative at Ascot and the man who is the liaison between race course and, and the landlords is awaiting to greet them. Sir Francis, who of course joined the exalted ranks of Cheltenham Festival winners when uh, he and Richard Pilkington owned uh, Chianti Classico, who won at the National Hunt Festival back in March. Members of the Ascot team being introduced to the Queen by Sir Francis, but many of them she's already got to know very well.